Hello everybody, Kane here today with another episode of Wildlife Park, and today we're back on the world to add in four brand new exhibits in our American area. Uh, because, well, why not? Uh, we, we haven't really worked on this area in a little while, and it was it had a couple of bare spots open here uh, that I'd actually left purposefully for the fact that I didn't know if I was going to get any more mods uh, when we finished this area off episodes ago. And because of that, I was like, hey, we should leave an area or two open just in case I want to add anything else in and we need the space for it. And I decided to fill most of that space up today with, uh, what was it, T three birds and one mammal. <laughs> Which, the mammal has been kind of tacked on, um, mostly because it was highly requested by like two or three people. Like, it's been requested every single episode since I started working on the American area. So I finally figured, you know, I should probably just add it in, like, why not? Um, which is the Quadamundi, uh, but anyway, uh, the birds we've, we're adding in today are the, I believe it's the Harpy Eagle, the Great Horned Owl, and the Andean Condor, uh, which I thought were all cool. Um, I really wanted to get the condors in. That's one I've been planning for, uh, for a few weeks now. I, like I said, like I've said before in these last few videos, um, <laughs> I kind of have a plan, uh, like a little area where I have... Right. Yeah, you guys have seen the little chest up at the front of the zoo where I've kept all the animals I really wanted to get exhibits in for. Um, that way I kind of know what I'm looking for. The problem right now is actually less that I need to find animals to use and more that I need to find space where I can put them. Because uh, I've actually had some issues with that. Uh, and yeah, It's becoming a bit more of a problem trying to find areas to throw in the animals I'd like to get. But I, if I need to, I'll figure out where they're going to go. Anyway, so this whole area kind of it has a very different setup to uh, the other birds we've had. Speaking of which, I realized that wasn't even an episode. That was on a live stream. So we do actually have tropical birds. You guys will see that in the final park tour, um, which isn't too far away now. Um, but anyway, I decided to set this area up. Oh, I guess we have eagles, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, it they are. It is kind of like the eagle exhibit in a way. Um, oh, this doesn't show up very well in the time lapse, does it? Uh, right now, I'm messing around with the wire that we, wire mesh we usually use for these bird exhibits. Um, trying to get it to kind of be like a tarp, like you know, it's hanging from a higher point going down. Basically, what we tried to do with the stingray uh, roof that I still haven't built, uh, and I decided to do it on one half. Didn't do it on the other, basically just because it was taking forever, and I got impatient. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we have like this central one, which will have two exhibits in it, and then a third one on the side there that will be the condor, because I made that the largest of the three. Even though I think all three birds, I think all their models are about the same size. I think at least. At least that's how it looks to me when I was building this. Um, I did actually mess up a bit when I was building the uh, that outer layer for it. Yeah, you can see me deleting it now, because uh, I forgot I need a full block since I'm uh, bringing in wire. <laughs> the wire, uh, what, what's it called? The chain, chain fence? Chain mesh? Whatever it's called. Fence. The chain link fences. That's what they're called. <laughs> Man, I could not think of the word there. Uh, the chain link fences for the actual, uh, exhibit walls. But yeah. Um, another thing I decided to do here that we don't usually do in these exhibits is I brought in a, uh, a bit of an awning type thing. It's a bit of a different kind of awning than we usually do, but yeah, I think it looks really good overall. Um, it was pretty interesting to build. Um, there's, yeah, I think this is the part, yeah. So there's a few parts in this build where I kind of just deviate from actually building the exhibits, and that's because I worked a bit on the terrain of the uh, the area, actually, trying to make it a bit more of a smooth transition between this more raised up area and the lower ground of the boar and deer exhibit behind it. Basically just trying to keep it from being a, like a giant, you know, empty space underneath this area. Trying to finish off more of these builds so I don't have to do that all next week and stuff when I'm like panicking that, oh my goodness, I haven't finished half the zoo kind of deal. Um, but yeah, just throwing in the last few blocks. Um, I don't really have too much else to say, I think, but I, man, I'm only like halfway through the time lapse. I don't think I should cut it. My lovely jubbly commentary off here um the condor exhibit's a bit of a weird shape but i actually kind of like that it <laughs> it feels more like a real zoo and i think that's something i did here that i actually that's a that's an interesting thing to talk on um oh and one other thing that you guys will see in a few minutes but uh or a minute or two probably i did actually finally like a lot of people have told me to do learned the commands with world edit to just do all the ground texture work and rock texture work for me so that way i don't have to do it by hand and 
to a degree I like it, on the other hand I don't like it because it's not quite as random in certain areas as I would like, but yeah, no, it's it, it certainly saved a lot. Yeah, you can see me doing it there, it saved tons of time and uh, really made it a lot easier to get these exhibits built. Uh, and I got to spend more time working on the interiors and the details of the actual build instead of just, you know, spending all the time on, uh, on the, uh, the ground texture. So this was originally meant to be the, the uh, Harpy Eagle exhibit, but then I put in the wrong kind of tree, so it ended up as the Owl exhibit. But I put in these small spruce trees, and they have uh, these little platforms on them, because I thought it'd be cool to, I don't know, allow the birds to rest on them, because, like, I don't know, I thought that'd be interesting. An interesting little build. Um, we just threw in the basic stone brick background for both of these builds because I didn't think I really needed to do something super complex. I was originally going to do what we had done in some of the other builds um, in this zoo and in the raptor house recently, which is uh, making a bit of a like a fake background, you know, by putting a bunch of terracotta to make it look like there's actually like plants there or something. But I don't know. I just decided it probably was going to it probably wasn't going to be very visible or and stuff like that. So didn't really think it was worth it. Anyway, oh, I love how <laughs> it's meant to be moving a bit faster, I think, to, uh, to get us over to the condor exhibit, but oh, 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 we're going through the wall, we're going through the walls. Um, there we go. Um, I think I've already started the condor exhibit by now. Um, yeah, okay. So the condor exhibit itself uh, wasn't too complicated. We threw in a big rock wall in the back there, uh, threw in a couple little perching spots for the, uh, for the birds. Um, then some bushes, just like the other ones, and then I think I do the rock texture on this. I actually messed up a couple times with it, but ended up with a mixture, I think, of cobble, mossy cobble, stone, and diorite, of all things. And now, I usually hate diorite, but for some reason it actually looked really good in this, so yeah. Uh, there you can see me messing up world co edit commands, and yeah, I, I don't know, I think it looks actually alright, which is weird. Because I'm so used to despising diorite in this, in this game. Um, but yeah, anyway, we threw, the, we threw the roof on there, and then I think I throw in the awning, which is actually not much of an awning, quote-unquote. It's just, like, leaves I threw over the top of it, but I actually really like the look of it. I like the feel of it. Um, it's something I do on a surprising amount of builds that I don't make videos on. Like, the, the stuff I build when I'm in just, like, in my own little survival worlds or when I'm playing uh, stuff with my friends, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah. What am I doing? Oh, I think I'm just throwing bone mailing everything. Anyway, next we're moving on to the Kawa the Kawatamundi exhibit, um, and the Kawati exhibit, which, eh, I mean, it's just, it's just a small little exhibit. It's just a way of throwing things in. Um, but yeah, this, this, this whole area was, uh, I meant to talk about this a bit earlier, but this was a lot of fun because I think for once this actually felt a bit more like an actual zoo and a bit less like my usual kind of building. Cause usually we build on like a, like a, a five by five or a three by three or a four by four kind of, you know, mode. So each fence is about X amount of blocks away from each other and they're all very uniform and stuff like that. Uh, and same with the pathways, we stick to very strict like uh, widths and lengths and all that kind of stuff and very strict uh, rules for when the path will turn and all this. But for this build, I don't know, I, I just kind of, I don't know, I just decided not to do that one a bit more freeform and I actually really like the results. I think it turned out a bit more interesting than usual and is definitely giving me ideas for how future zoos are going to be built. Um, yeah. Anyway though, I think, I think I have truly run out of things to say, so I'm gonna let the rest of this play out, it's only like another 30 seconds, and I'll leave back up with you guys to show off the build. All right, everybody, here we are with the final uh, builds. <laughs> so yeah, a bit, bit of a different thing today, just doing three smaller exhibits over in the North American section, or American section now technically, since uh, two of the birds we added in here aren't actually North American, they're South American. We have the Andean condor over here, and our uh, harpy eagles down there, with uh, the great horned owls right over here. I really like these guys, by the way. I. I don't know, all three models look really cool, but for some reason the owls are the ones that I really, really like. Maybe that's just because I like owls, but I don't know. They look really cool. Um, some uh, Something with the shaders seems to be having trouble with this area, and I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's that there's multiple layers of wire mesh, and it's kind of having trouble overlaying the shadows. Who knows? 
Um, but the final exhibit we added in was the Quatamundis. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure why I decided to throw these in in an episode that seems to have mostly focused on birds, but uh, I did, most because I think someone's been, I don't remember who, but someone's been suggesting I add these into the zoo now for like, I don't know how many videos, so I figured I should finally just <laughs> just add them in, why not? Um, but yeah, I like this little exhibit, it's, it's small, but it fits in. And I think this pretty well ties up the North American section, or the American section, uh, pretty darn well. Uh, we don't really have any more space for another exhibit. I mean, I guess we could technically throw another one in here somewhere. Not really sure what I would pick. In fact, I was almost considering, even though it would not at all fit with anything else around here, throwing something like a Gemsbok in here, because I think it'd be cool to have a Gemsbok, but we don't really have the space anywhere else. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's kind of that. Um, I guess we should take a bit of a closer look into each of the enclosures since I'm sure, you know, there's details the time lapse doesn't show and all that stuff, but yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff in here. I really like this exhibit. I like the big tree I built. I thought, I thought that was actually a pretty cool uh, detail to have. Let's quickly just walk in here. Yeah, I, I really like this one. It's, it's just a bit different than the usual kind of big trees we build. Um, ironically though, uh, and I probably mentioned this in the time lapse, is uh, the fact that what became the Great Horned Owl exhibit was originally meant to be the Harpy exhibit, Harpy Eagle exhibit. I just built the wrong kind of tree in there and then I didn't feel like reversing it, so yeah, that's that's why this is the case. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think everything's turned out really well. You guys will have obviously noticed during the time lapse, I, uh, I finally learned the world edit commands, so yeah. Detailing takes a lot less time, which is nice. Um, so yeah, that hopefully means we can do some bigger builds, uh, because, well, I don't have to spend quite as much time doing all the ground texture and the rock texture, which should be pretty good. I actually really like this. This is the only time I actually like, I've liked diorite in a build, and it was purely by accident. I meant to use andesite, but I forgot the ID for it, so yeah, we got diorite instead. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think that's all I have for today, so thank you all for watching. Um, it's pretty crazy, we're almost done. We're so close to finishing the zoo. We've got a few episodes left, a few more animals. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed, and until next time, everyone, see ya.